Hi, um, today I'd like to introduce a link. This is a finger device which you can control everything. So before I start talking about what is this, I'd like to show you a short movie which is about, takes about one minute. Okay. Using this link, you can control everything. You can send a text message, you can complete a pain, and even you can unlock the key. And you just need one finger, and you just need this link. Uh, I'd like to show you a demo. And um, all right, so I'm going to use the prototype, and the prototype is still so huge. But in 2014, next year, the size will be much, much smaller, like this. Okay, let me do the demo. So there's a wall, so you cannot see a lot uh, the prototype, but this is a prototype. And, um, okay. Now I'm moving a finger here. And um, as you can see, I'm, if I move the finger, this point is following my finger's movement, right? And now I want to watch a TV, so I will connect this TV. Then I will turn on the power, right? Now, I want to see, I, I want to listen to the music, so. Okay. I link with the music player, and then I start playing music. Okay. So, um, using this link, you can control, um, you can connect, uh, you can control everything, and uh, you just need a gesture, and if you gesture it, you can connect with the devices, and after you connect it, you can send any orders. And, um, okay. Right, sorry, not this one. Right. Uh, please look at uh, this slide. Um, there's a lot of new devices coming out this year and next year. Google Glass and iWatch and SmartWatch. These are so great products, actually. Um, but um, there's one disadvantage. Um, there are a lot of input devices. So there's no mouse and there's no keyboard. So they need a link. Link allows you to um, send a text very easily and you can gesture and you can uh, send any orders to these devices. So for example, Google Glass and this link um, could have great relationship and we really think this is so important and we are really working hard about this. Okay. And there's a lot of things I cannot talk about today but I can tell three things. First, this one is uh, come with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi inside. Second, we will publish an API so any developers can develop using this uh, link. And then third, we will start selling it in 2014 in Japan and the United States. Okay, so that's it for today. And um, one thing I want to tell is that um, there's a panel discussion before about one hour ago, I know, three hours ago, right? And they're talking about uh, how Japanese company is going to, to the global. And I believe it, and Japanese, we are Japanese company, and we are good at making small things. So that's why I'm a Japanese, uh, that's why Japanese company is going to the global, and we believe we can make it next year. Okay, thank you very much. I'm impressed already. <laughs> so, questions, feedback? Oh, very, very interesting and intriguing. 
Uh, what, what can you tell us about the company? You said there are many things you can't tell us. Just can you tell us a little bit about, about the company and team? Okay. Uh, we have five workers. I, I'm a developer. I'm, a, I'm also a programmer. And there's a one guy. He's a genius guy. And he has, working on, uh, he has worked on the Robotics research company about five years. And he has made a lot of robots before. And uh, he can make uh, eye tracking devices, or he can even make uh, 3D printers. And he's now in my team. And uh, there's another programmer. And these two, um, he's and her is our team too. Yes. And, uh, and what about the, uh, have you taken funding already or linked up with someone? Or? No. All bootstrapped? Yeah, we just uh, uh, using my money. <laughs> <laughs> the best way. So do, do you have uh, uh, skills to make uh, rings or jewelry? Yes. yes. Okay. So we are testing a lot of function right now. That's why the size is so big. But it is possible to make this size. But uh, we are deciding um, we, are, um, uh, we should put this spray or not. So we are still testing, and we, are, we will decide end of this year, I think. I, I would say that this is the most uh, good looking wearable computer I've ever seen. If it, it, it can make it realize. Yeah. Um, Many companies who make uh, wearable devices, things they haven't done yet is making it look really cool. So that will be very, very interesting. Uh, I mean, look at it, it's Shibuya K. Shibuya K. <laughs> <laughs> but I have, a, I have a question. So you say you want to start selling it next year in Japan and the US. Yeah. Uh, what do you think, how much, how much would it cost, for example, for me if I want to buy it? And can I, can I buy it on Amazon or where can I buy it? Okay, um, less than $200. But we think uh, we believe I want this one. I want to sell in like a one, less than one hundred dollars. But uh, at first, I want to uh, save to the developers, so the price is much higher. I think like six hundred, seven hundred for the developers. But for the consumers, I think less than two hundred, and I want like this one like one hundred. And um, yes, I see. Thank you. Is it made out of silver? Uh, this one, yes. Uh, this is just you're mark. Correct. Yeah, this is a, just a mark, so yes. But eventually, is it going to be all, uh, in silver? Yeah, yeah um, silver and some, um, like, uh, like an iPhone. Um, using the same kind of uh, material with the iPhone. So we had a question from the audience about the battery life. Battery life, yes, that is a good question. And um, because of Bluetooth 4.0, we can develop a lot of um, uh, devices with low battery, uh, because Bluetooth uh, does not use a lot of batteries. So uh, we will put Wi-Fi, uh, wireless, uh, and uh, electronic charging, charging, yes, Wi-Fi charger in here. So um, uh, we are still not going to know yet how, how much, maybe, uh, maybe, I hope one week, but uh, maybe first, first six, in your team, do you have anyone with consumer electronics background? Yeah. So, um, you mean the consumers? Excellent. In your team, somebody who worked at Toshiba, Sony, Matsushita? No, um, uh, I told you uh, the guy, he was been working at the Robotics and such company. He was making a lot of products, but not like a big company like a Toshiba or uh, SoftBank. But he has, um, how can I say, like, um, Otameshi Shoki, uh, Prototypes. Prototype, yes. He made a lot of prototypes for Toshiba, and like, not Toshiba, but like a big company. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, so my question is about, is there anyone in your team who knows how to take a prototype into a mass market product? Yes. Um, actually, like, uh, I'm doing a lot of business right now. That's why, um, no, I'm sorry. Um, so um, now I, I know how to marketing this link. That's why I'm really curious about design and how I made that movie before okay. I started selling it. And yeah. Yeah. This is great. I mean, your pitch is really nice. Okay. The, the, I think the biggest challenge at the moment for you is to go from prototype to selling. Mm -hmm. So I think you, you'll be able to sell, but can you make it mass produced in a factory with reasonable cost and as small as you actually want it? Um, yeah, um, actually, like uh, about five years ago, I was selling a lot of products from um, 
I get like imports from China and I sell it in the whole world. So but I have a scale of like uh, uh, selling. Yeah, like uh, so no problem. <laughs> selling is fine. Yeah, yeah. and uh, making? You mean the? Yeah, from like going from prototype mm -hmm. to like factory ready. Oh yeah, uh, that that that's uh, that scale. Uh, he has that scale. He has done a lot about that. So he knows where is the cheap com um, factory, or he knows everything. All right, so, so we've run out of time, but thank you very much. Ring, everybody.